Local histogram equalization is a great tool for enhancing the details in your image. I'd like to share with you how I use this tool with my images. This image is the hydrogen alpha image for my wide field view of the Sagittarius region, which has M8, the Lagoon Nebula, and M20, the Trifid Nebula, and finally M21, which is an open cluster. I'd like to come in here and try to enhance some of the details that are in each of the areas of the nebulosity. There's a lot going on here, and I'd like to bring that out a little bit more. Now, when I do local histogram equalization, I tend to like to be selective about it. We're going to be enhancing detail, and I want to make sure it's signal and not noise. So quite often, I will create a mask which is basically isolating areas that I want to target. And I've done that here. This particular mask was used, uh, was created with a game script. And as I apply it, and we'll close him off, and we'll show the mask. You can see that I'm targeting the detail areas of the nebula, and I'm avoiding the background. There's no point in trying to enhance the detail of noise and uh, background nonsense. So we're not going to do that. So with the mask in place, I can start to play with the local histogram equalization tool. Now this tool has a live preview, which is really handy. So we're going to engage that. As it engages, we're going to be using the default parameters. It comes in as a default kernel size of 64 pixels, a contrast limit of 2, and an amount of 1. And the two or three parameters that we're going to be focusing on here is what scale we want to enhance the detail at, how much of that effect we want to allow to be applied to our image, and then occasionally we'll be changing the histogram resolution to get a smoother answer when we're dealing with larger scales. The default scale is actually a nice scale that I typically use. And in fact, what I typically do is I apply a local histogram equalization to the image three different times at three different scales, which I think does a nice job of bringing out detail. The 64 default is a nice mid-tone scale, which I often will do. If you apply it at full effect, you can see that it's at definitely doing something in the regions that we are targeting. You can see this is where it was, and this is where it's gone. Uh, quite often in my experience, when you use the full amount on uh, the histogram equalization, it will become unnatural. And quite often I end up coming back to 50% or maybe even more. Uh, it's rare that I use this tool beyond a 30% weight, so that's something to keep in mind. You don't want to apply this very strong or you'll get a very unnatural reaction. So as we look at where we are, this is a pretty subtle effect, and this particular one looks like we could probably go a little bit further. So let's take that up to maybe 35. Okay, I think we're bringing out some nice detail here without making it look unnatural. So let's apply that. Okay, that helps us with our uh, mid-scale um, uh, enhancement. Now look, let's look at doing something on the larger scale. Let's take this up to about, say, 250. So we're starting to enhance the large scale features in the image. And when I do that, I often go to either a 10-bit or 12-bit histogram. Now, the tool runs slower when you have a higher resolution histogram, but you'll get cleaner results when you're working at the larger scale if you do that. So I'd encourage you to move up the scale of your histogram as you move up the scale of the kernel that you're using. Let's go back into the live mode, and we're going to put this at full amount so you get an idea of what the change is. Takes a moment to compute. All right, here's what it looks like now. Here's what we started with. We're bringing out a lot of detail, and bringing in a lot of contrast. I tend to back things off, as I said. I don't like to go too strong on this. Let's try it at about half. So we'll quickly recompute. All right, let's look at the differences. It's looking good. I actually could take a little bit more, I think. I'm going to pick this up to around 65% roughly. I'm pretty happy with that. So we'll kill the preview and we'll now handle the large scale enhancement. All right. Finally, I want to do something at the small scale. So we're going to engage a live preview again, but this time we're going to bring this down to around, say, 20. And we're going to go back to an 8-bit histogram. 
And when you're doing something like this, and you get the full amount, it gets pretty busy. Uh, I think it, you can get this very unnatural very quick. Uh, so again, I tend to back this off. So let's try 35 and see what that looks like. Maybe a little bit more. All right, that's giving us just a little bit of sharpness at the fine detail. I think that'll work out pretty well. Let's apply that to our image. Now let's go back to where we started. All right, this is where we were. There's a mid-scale enhancement, large-scale enhancement, fine-scale enhancement. Uh, now we have a lot more detail we've brought out. Now, I've probably gone too far in this particular case for the purposes of example. So you want to put a soft hand on this. You don't want to go too hard. But I wanted to demonstrate that there's an awful lot of detail that can be enhanced at different scales. And the local histogram equalization tool is a great tool for handling that detail. It's